Hello everyone. In this video, I want to demonstrate a warehouse management system app which can be installed on the Android phone and integrate with Business Central. And this app is from InsideWorks. And you can install the warehouse insert app on your Android phone to manage your warehouse activities. So uh, we've been asked many times for our clients, they do not want to spend too much on uh, invest, investing the hardware devices for the warehouse management system. So uh, they want to know if they can use uh, like their smartphone instead of purchasing the barcode scanner device to receive and uh, ship their products. And so actually you could see it's possible like you can use the Android device to scan for the inventory activities, but uh, it's not recommended. So uh, the reason like it's not recommended is because the form factor of the smartphone and also uh, for the mobile computers like these uh, handheld devices, then it can handle the jobs from the four inch to 10 inch depending on the model. But for smartphones, it, because of the form factor uh, limitation, you have to use a camera to process the barcodes. And uh, scan it uh, dramatically slow down your scanning process. And also uh, the smartphones does not, does not match the ruggedness of a purpose-built mobile computer. And also it's also not ergonomic. Because of all these factors, when you consider a device to be used for the barcode scanning, you usually consider all these five factors, the ruggedness, scan range, camera, a form factor, and the price. Even this handheld device may cost you uh, from 1500 to 2000 bucks, but for the long term, it's still a better choice than using the smartphone. But if you are a small business, you do not want to invest for those devices, then you just want to test out the functionalities for the Warehouse Insight. Then for sure you can install a app, the Warehouse Insight app on the phone and on the Android device and you can use it for the inventory activities, for the warehouse activities. So let's start with the installation of the extension on your Business Central. And so in that switch, our, I already have it installed. So I'm going to switch to the Warehouse Insights Role Center. And then we can take a look of the extension management. So let's take a look uh, what comes with it. So when you install the Warehouse Insight, you have to make sure you install. There's a, a advanced Warehouse Insight. And also there's a, another one. It's just called Warehouse Insight WMS. So make sure you install this Warehouse Insight Advanced WMS, not the, the one without the advanced, because the other one is the older version. And there's some features it does not have. And also the phone apps, it has less features as well. So after you install this Warehouse Insight Advanced WMS, then uh, you can go through the wizard. Then you can go to the assisted setup, then uh, just uh, go through the wizard so you can uh, generate a report for the warehouse inside installation and there's some barcode you can uh, scan and download the apps the android app and also it has the credentials you can use to log in to warehouse inside so what you have to do is basically you have to go through this wizard and then you just start a setup and once you start a setup and it asks you a few questions like the location you need to use so let's take a look. I'm just gonna turn on this uh, gray because already completed. You can see already completed the setup, but we can just uh, go through again. Then uh, if you want to download, there's some um, rapid start data, which comes with this warehouse inside. It's just some sample data and setup data you can use. Then you can just turn all these on and then just go to next and select the language you're gonna use and then put in your information and then select the location, the warehouse location, and the user login name, web service key. So this is from the users. So if you go to the users, then on the users, then you can see, so whatever the user you want to use to log in to your uh, app. So you can select the user and the warehouse, uh, the, for the web access key, you can get from here, web service access key. 
So you just need to put those information in when you set it up. And then uh, after this screen, it's, uh, I, cannot, I cannot skip this screen. So because I have a location, a white location, it has the advanced warehouse turned on, which means I have the require uh, we require receive and put away and require ship and um, uh, pick and also I have the directed put away and pick turn down zones and bins so I'm going to use that VAT location then you can put in your username and the web service key and copy it from the users okay and you click on next and then it takes a while then it has a finish button so then you click on finish. Once it's finished, then it's going to download a report like this. Okay. And uh, once you have this report, you can see on this report, it gives you the link for where you can download this APK to install on your Android device. And you can click on that link, then you can just download it. Okay. And then uh, after you download and install on your uh, Android phone, then so there's the Android device, there's a Windows mobile device as well. You can also, uh, if you are using Windows mobile device, you can download from this cap file. Uh, it will support Windows CE and other Windows mobile device. Okay, so then after, because I, when I go, when I gone through the setup, I set up my location as the white location. And then you could see this configuration ID is as white test. And then it provides us the web service and company name. Okay, so once you have this, and also your login credential shows up here. Once you have this, then what you can do, I'm just gonna share the screen of my phone that you can see what's gonna happen on the phone. So on the phone, you're gonna install that APK, then you can download that APK file from this link, and then uh, you just install it on the phone, then you will see this icon. On this icon, then it's a warehouse insight. So what you can do with this, uh, first time when you log in, uh, right now, because I already logged in before, so right now what I need to do, I just need to scan this uh, credential barcode on my phone. And then you can use this camera. You can use this camera on the phone to scan it. So I'm just gonna quickly scan it and log in on my phone. So it may take some time when it's load on the phone. So that's why you could see this is not the best option because like it, it, there's a dramatic delay if you use it. On, on. Now the interface load up, okay? So the first time you log into your phone, so this information you do not need to manually enter because this is from the installation uh, report. What you can do is like uh, you have a, if you click on this barcoding, okay? And if you click on this barcode, you have this option to use your camera. Then you have to turn this on. Once you see, no matter where you go in the Warehouse Insight app, then you always see this camera on the upper right corner. So uh, this camera is used for you to scan the barcode, okay? Then uh, we can go to like, if you go to the atom, atom inquiry, and then you can scan an atom number. So let's say in this case, we can see this atom number, but like we don't, if we, but in the warehouse environment, everything is gonna scan. You have the labels on the item, you have the bin uh, barcode label on the item as well. So everything is a scan. So in order to demonstrate this, and I have to find an online barcode, I have to find an online barcode generator. Because on my phone, uh, if, you look up, if you look at the settings on the phone, there does have a setting which you can, so uh, if we go to the config, config mode, then the default password 1234, then uh, you can see under the barcoding, this, uh, the barcode formats is, which you already have a few barcode formats turned down. Those are the barcodes you can scan. If you have other format, like if you want to have the 93 to be able to scan, you have to turn on those barcodes. Right now I have the code 39, I have the code 128 data matrix. So this typical barcode turned down and UPCA, okay? So those are the accepted format I can scan. And then I'm gonna go back to my uh, screen. So every time you go back, then you have to rescan because you see the camera, it disappeared from here. So you have to sign out and then uh, you have to, after you sign out, you see this camera comes back 
then you have to scan uh, your barcode again for the credential then to log in. So we are scanning this credential again. So let's go back. You can see this com comes back. And since we enabled code 39 on our phone app, I'm just going to select this code. And there's an item I know, like I have in the white warehouse and also I have it in the bin. So I'm going to generate a barcode for that. So you see on the, on the right hand side, I have the barcode generated. So now I'm going to use, just let me bring up this. You can see my screen, okay? So I'm, now I'm going to use my phone and then just scan this barcode. Then you can see the process. Okay, so you, you see it's not very sensitive, right? When you use the phone, you use the camera, it's not very sensitive, but it did detect, it did detect my, uh, it did detect the item like I scanned. So you can see it detect this in this bin, uh, then it, I have a quantity of 22 pieces for this item. Then it, you can do the same thing. Let, let's close this and go back to the main menu. And then the first function is this item scanning. We, we can also do the bin inquiry. We can scan the, scan the bin number. So for that item, then if we go to our uh, business central, we know the, the item is in the uh, bin. Uh, we can check the bin content to see which bin this item belongs to. So search this item number, then we can go to the item card, then we can go to the actions, warehouse, related actually, and the warehouse and the bin contents. So we could see the item is in this bin. So like if we want to generate, we, we want to do a bin inquiry, then we can go to generate this bin code. And now on the phone, let's go back to my phone. So we can just go to this bin query. And then I'm going to use the camera to scan this bin. Okay. So you can see it takes some time, but this bin, this, this item, they, by using this bin query, this item did populate. Okay. So um, for all the other functionalities, like uh, the you can use the advanced account and you can have different teams come at the same time, and then you can uh, you can consolidate the account in the account sheet, and uh, there's a basic account and there's a receiving. So uh, let's take a look of the receiving process. For the receiving, I have these uh, different uh, PO, right? So let's say. If you are not selecting, you are just uh, scanning the barcode. That's enter 1082897. 1082897. Okay. So that's generate the barcode for it. Then we can scan it. Okay. So the thing is like, because this is uh, everything is scanned, you scan the PO number, then you receive it, right? So now let's take a look what's happened on the phone app. It just shows like we are receiving and it's from this bin. This item, right? We are doing the receiving for this item. And then at the bottom of the screen, you can see it's trying to ask you to scan the item. So we have to convert the item number to the barcode again. So it's uh, 7400. Okay, so then let's just scan this barcode again. Let's see what's going to happen. Right now I'm doing everything manually. I have to generate the barcode each time, but in your warehouse environment, you should have everything printed as a barcode. So I scanned the lot number. Now you could see right now it populates, like it asked me to enter a lot for this quantity 10. So that's just enter it as test 002 and the expiration date. Let's just pick an expiration date here and quantity two. Let's confirm, click on OK and confirm. So the quantity to receive, it says 10, so it's good, right? And then on, on your scanner, on the phone, then you can just uh, go to post this, okay? 
So you can see it has been received and then we can go to close this page then we can go to the put away so the other features like uh, you can so after you receive the products then you can do a put away for the internal movement you can use the ad hoc movement like you are moving uh, you can use the warehouse in business central you will be using the warehouse uh, reclassification journal if you have the warehouse documents all turned down so then the ad hoc movement, you can do the internal movement to move the item from one bin to another bin. Then you can do the pick and you can create a warehouse shipment and create a pick register pick. And also you can report consumption and uh, post the output on this app. You can also work with this app for assembly orders and you can have the license plate. You can put you can receive and you can output into a license plate and ship ship the items with license plate you can also put a note on the scratch pad the scratch pad can you have different category and you can like you can put a note for the inventory count and you can create it for some other purpose so all the other functionalities like uh, you can see it in the warehouse insight app so but it just like when you are using this app it seems like due to the restriction of the form factor uh it's not very convenient and then the to use the camera to scan the barcode is not that sensitive as you use a barcode scanner handheld device okay thank you so much for watching this youtube video i hope to see you guys again next time Thank you for watching this Archer Point video. Stay in the know with the latest on Microsoft Dynamics by subscribing to our channel. You can also learn more from our blog at archerpoint.com or email info at archerpoint.com to contact us. See you in the next video.